Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening. A man who has no obvious connection to sci-fi or tech in any way. A man who flunked every science class. A man who once brought his iPhone to the Apple store to get it fixed, only to realize it wasn't turned on. He clearly has no business being here, but we love him anyway, Sir Patrick Stewart. Good evening, and thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot tell you with what pride I stand here before you and how honored I am by being invited to be your host for this evening's awards, the SciTech Awards. I just mentioned that in case you weren't sure you were at the <laughs> right awards. Um, now, while I know some of you may be fans of films I have been in, uh, oh. uh, they could not have had the impact some did without the innovative work of many people here tonight. You are the film scientists, the film magicians. Your innovations open new doors and give the creative community new opportunities for storytelling. Personally, I am in awe of all of you. You turn equations and code into fantastic visions showing us worlds of pure imagination. And in this room tonight, we have some of the best and the brightest minds in our business. Now we have a big night ahead of us as we hand out nine awards and 36 honoring remarkable individuals. So, Let's begin, shall we? When audiences see a digital character moving on screen, they might think it's a simple matter of drawing a picture one frame at a time. But just as humans require bones, joints, muscles, digital characters need something under the skin that keeps them all together allowing the animator a way to make them walk and talk, and this is what's called a rig. A digital puppet. And the process of creating rigs can be labor intensive. Rigging began as a manual effort with one artist creating one rig at a time. But these days, films could demand hundreds of digital characters with ever-increasing complexity. But as always, big challenges force new innovations. And this is where our first two groups of SciTech recipients take center stage. In 2002, the film, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, posted a Help Wanted ad. <laughs> Hundreds of digital character rigs needed for immediate work. <laughs> Apply within. Two visual effects studios jumped at the chance to take this challenge head on. So let's learn a little about our first award of the evening, Block Party. The Chronicles of Narnia had massive numbers of digital characters and each would need a unique rig. One of the systems that arose from that need is Block Party from Industrial Light and Magic. 
there were uh, multiple versions of character rigs going around ILM. The thought was, you know, what if we could take those complex units, like an arm or a spine, and just make it this, this packaged thing that could plug into the block next to it and then create a character rig that way. The secret to block parties automated and fast rig building is in the title. It's literally like building with blocks. Each block is a little piece of a rig with a purpose, like an arm or shoulder. So blocks are essentially mini rigs. And those little rigs piece themselves together with lots of other different blocks, creating motion for the character. Multiple blocks can be connected to create a character. And the blocks are swappable. So even after a full rig is assembled, if the artist wants a different spine, they can simply replace it with another spine block. Moreover, once a complete rig is constructed, it can quickly repurpose for a different character simply by fitting the original rig to the new character. Our main goal with Block Party really was to help make the job of the rigger much simpler so that they don't have to think about those te technical complexities every second of every day while they're doing their rigging. Block Party's rigs can be stored away for future use and, since its inception, more than 24,000 unique rigs have been created for almost 100 feature films, many of which have been nominated or received the Academy Award for visual effects, including Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Block Party has contributed to at least one Oscar-nominated film every year since its birth, as well as the recent blockbusters Kong, Skull Island, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and Thor, Ragnarok. It's really, really cool to be able to support these artists who are extreme perfectionists in what they do and make it possible to bring bigger and better and more innovative characters to the screen. Tonight, the Academy presents a Technical Achievement Award to Jason Smith, Jeff White, Rachel Marie Rose, and Michael Justin Lee Jutan for their work. <laughs> for their work on ILM's Block Party. Come on, up to the stage. As many can attest, the developing, developing technology for our industry is often driven by pure passion. For us, Block Party really epitomizes that passion. So thank you to the Academy for honoring us and this technology that we really love. I'd also like to thank my parents, Carol and Dan, for their endless support over the years, and to my husband, Justin, and to my beautiful children, Clara and Damon. Thank you for standing by my side through this journey. And finally, to any young woman who may be watching this and dreaming about her future career, I am proof that you can. Thank you. Cheers to those who strive for creative solutions to complex problems. Uh, for example, my epic wife, Michal, is nine months pregnant. Our first child is due tomorrow. Um, but she said, you got to go accept your award, but you better get on that last plane to San Francisco tonight before I have this baby. <laughs> uh, Michal, you're, um, you're insane. I love you, and thank you for all the support. Um, I'm also immensely grateful for my parents, Cheryl and Arthur Jutan, who are here tonight. Uh, thank you for your endless encouragement uh, to live a life filled with passion. From the career-inspiring T-1000 in Terminator 2 to John Doublestein's talent, Amazing talent, visible in every bone and block party. We salute ILM's world-class creature artists. We'd also like to just say a quick thank you to Carrie Phillips and ILM for being the kind of